but um, to the political class as well, even as we head into the uh, fresh presidential elections in the next 34 days. Let's quickly head over to the county of Nandi, where our reporter Elvis Koske is joining us live. Governor Stephen Sang has just addressed members of the county assembly. There have been an array of issues that have been threatening the unity of the county assembly that the governor sought to put a stop on. Elvis Koske now joins us with an update. Elvis, um, was uh, this particular uh, address by the governor successful in ironing out some of the issues that have been cropping out uh, from the county assembly and uh, the speaker as well? Yes, indeed, Akisa, the governor of Nandi County, Stephen Sang, just concluded his speech uh, to the members of county assembly of Nandi, where we also add the speaker of uh, Nandi uh, Assembly, who is Joshua Kipto. And some of the issues that he was addressing is the issue of ghost workers, also the issue of stealth projects. Remember, during the past regime where we had the governor of, uh, the former governor of Nandi, Cleophas Lagarde, there's some of the things that uh, according to the new governor, Stephen Sang, should be addressed at equal measure. Also, the issues of ghost workers uh, in Nandi County, those are some of the things that uh, the Nandi governor say that when uh, they have assumed office, those are some of the things that he's going to address. Remember, Nandi County Assembly has a total of 39 members of the County Assembly, and today we had only 38 members of the County Assembly. And I'm now joined by Stephen Sang, the new governor of Nandi County, and I'm also told the youngest governor in this country. Uh, we just heard you from the County Assembly of Nandi where you made your maiden speech. What are some of the things that uh, you thought that was necessary so that to bridge the relationship between the county government and the County Assembly? Yeah, thank you so much. Today I have officially opened the County Assembly of Nandi with the, my maiden address. Of course I addressed a number of uh, key issues that were that formed part of my uh, manifesto one of them is the you know the health sector the reforms that have already started within the health sector in Nandi county the other one is also you know streamlining the civil service within the county uh, of nandi you are aware of the process that we have engaged as county executive to try and establish you know uh, uh, who our you know workforce you know are in terms of uh, head count and ensure that we don't have uh, ghost workers who are chewing into the resources of Nandi County. But more, more importantly for me also is uh, investment within the sports sector. That is, you know, Nandi County is famed as the source of champion and that is one of the issues that I have addressed in the County Assembly. Uh, of course, at the end of uh, my, my, my address, you, you, you clearly understood that I uh, tasked the county assembly unanimously that um, all of us were a product of the August 8th election and uh, unfortunately the presidential um, election was nullified and we all agreed that we are going to hit the road running, mobilize our people, mobilize resources to ensure that Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto are re-elected come 2017, uh, come October 17th. That is one of the unanimous positions that we have taken as a county because the relationship between Nandi County and national government, we have a lot of pending, um, you know, programs and projects by national government uh, Jubilee administration in Nandi County and therefore that continuity of the Jubilee administration at the national level is critical for us as Nandi County. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lastly, I'm told that President Uru Kenyatta will be about to address the 12th parliament. What are some of the things that we're also expecting? Also a key thing in this county was the issue of the biting strike of the nurses. Yeah. I, I think that is the... We have seen the Jubilee administration under Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto invest a lot within the health sector in terms of we have two hospitals in Nandi County that the national government has invested over a billion shillings. We know that, uh, uh, you know, the NHIF, the reforms that uh, the Jubilee administration had undertaken under HIF, and we also know that uh, the Jubilee administration was keen on partnering with counties to enhance universal uh, health care provision to our people. So I expect that the president will be able to touch on that. But more importantly, I also expect that the president in his address would be able to, 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 to expound on his continued investment and partnership with county governments. We know that Jubilee administration has been one of the best administrations in terms of facilitating devolution. And I think that is one of the reasons why 
most of the governors, including those in the opposition, are actually supporting Jubilee administration and Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto for their re-election. Okay. Akisa, we also have Joshua Kipto. The last time I checked, you are a political analyst somewhere. Part-time job. <laughs> the, the main still still remain. I was an advocate. And the political analysis was on the public politics. This is exactly what we are saying. That's why when I came around to run for the seat, it was a case of walking the talk. Not just talking anymore, but being part of the process. Not just being at the sideline commenting, but being in a position to help. The governor has said it. For us, the county assembly today was an opportunity. We cannot commence unless the governor gives his address. From the governor's address, we put life into the same address by instituting policy changes, putting in the bills, putting in the laws. If you are keen enough to hear his recommendation, he was asking the county assembly, why don't you do the bills for me, the sports bill, the health bill, the previous county assembly. Possibly their key drawback was not putting such speeches into law and policy. For the county government to work, the assembly has to do its bit. So for us, we come in as an appendage, not just to be same side as the executive. We still do our oversight, but importantly, ours is to institute the policy. We think as an assembly, we will be the policy think tank. For the executive to work, for them to be able to fund and to make stuff happen, the assembly has to play its part. The whole process begins with us. So for us, it gives us a chance. Importantly, I want to appreciate the fact that as a county, the residents saw it fit to task the young because if you look at other counties, for us, we've made history. We are young, we don't have, like, if it were based on experience, we wouldn't have gotten this p position. So we are using this to showcase that, yes, if given a chance, we can do it, we can make it. And, you know, for us at the county level, we have already made the decision, the governor has said it so well, that myself, as part of the county assembly, my county assembly with a unanimous decision has decided that they are going to back the re-election of the president and the deputy president, and we'll do our part. The governor gave us that task, and the county assembly sits at a very powerful position. We have an MCA per ward, and they will do their bit, they will do their campaigning, but that will not even stop our everyday job. We'll still do the legislation, we'll do the policy, and trust me, you can come back again two, three months later. We will be commenting, showcasing that we promised, we said, we have delivered. Okay. That will be the main thing. Okay, thank many you. thanks. Akisa, you've heard from Joshua Kipto, the Speaker of Nandi County Assembly, and also earlier on we had the Stephen Sang, who is the new Governor of Nandi County. Of of course, you're expecting President Uru Kenyatta to address the 12th parliament any time from now. So it's something that, of course, you're keeping an eye in this vote rich county. Akisa. Well, thank you, Elvis Kaske, our reporter live from uh, Nandi after the official opening of the county government by, of, of the county assembly by a governor, Stephen Sang.